know, have you got advice for any beauty gurus that are starting out on YouTube? Is there do's and don'ts that you would give advice for or anything like that? Don't listen to any of the bad stuff that people write, because they will. Um, and just, yeah, use it as a learning device for yourself as well, because you know, Sam and I have both done makeup for about 15 years each and even from doing tutorials I've learned so much about different faces and you know you're always learning so um, don't expect it to be massive straight away because lots of people do it but persevere and use it as a learning tool rather than anything else I would say. Yeah, yeah do it for the love, don't go straight into it expecting to earn money, you know never do it for the money because you'll be really disappointed. <laughs> I was wondering how you juggle your family lives and your work. YouTube has seems like too much for anyone to deal with. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I had a breakdown the other day. <laughs> she did a proper tea. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. I think that she was a bit of a breakdown. And I have in the past, haven't I? Yeah, it is a lot that we do. Um, we sort of work, we stagger it, don't we? You work. What days do you work? I work um, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, and Wednesdays. And then, but we're always working, I work at home on Thursdays and Fridays just answering comments and editing and getting things ready but I'm in the office, in the studio on a Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday is meant to be happy days. And then I do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so we have two days where we cross over. And those days it's really hard for us to film anything because we just talk, don't we? We talk and we throw ideas around and then we sort of film on the day that we're in the studio on our own. As well because we are Kind of our own bosses, freelance maker, you know, you can choose what you do and what you don't do. Um, so you do have time for your kids, or hopefully we will soon. I had a bit of a breakdown and just like, I need to see Harry. Um, so yeah, it's, it is tough, it is tough, but it's, um, I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. You know. What made you start your YouTube channel? And where does the name Pixie Woo come from? Uh, Pixie Woo is Nick's nickname which I had as a YouTube uh, username for years before I actually uploaded a video. And I uploaded a video because somebody asked me how to do a smoky eye and I just thought, oh god, I really hate writing emails. Um, so I just filmed it and put it on the internet and, did, and I didn't really understand it up until that point. But, you know, it, it's like a snowball, isn't it? And then I went off to have my daughter and Nick, you did some videos for me, yeah. and it sort of grew from there. But I think it took it took a long time, really, to get to a point. Um, I mean, initially it wasn't a business; it was just something we did in our spare time, wasn't it? And now it's like full time because there's so much to do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it was just something that was for the fun of it for, for at least a year and a half. Yeah, I was just say. That. We were working full time and then doing videos in our spare time. So you, if you're gonna do it, you have to have a lot of passion for makeup. You know, it's not. People think that makeup's a really easy thing, um, but it's really, really hard work. And uh, yeah, it was tough. I think initially you put in, um, you put in so much, don't you? And um, <coughs> one, one horrible comment is just crushing because you, you do everything that you can. You know, you put it all out there, and then someone comes back and I don't know. It doesn't doesn't it everyone first, does, doesn't it? it? Yeah. But um, you learn to deal with that. I mean, it doesn't bother us. How do you keep yourself motivated with all that you do? Uh, I would say um, the, way we, the way we keep ourselves motivated is because there's two of us. When one of us gets really down, the other one goes, oh, get on with it. You know, we, we do have our times of being sympathetic with each other, but we're also quite pushy of each yeah. other, aren't we? Yeah. And I think that does help. You know, if you're ever struggling for an idea, um, one or the other of us will have a folder full of looks and just send it over to the Which other one. Which we don't listen to each other with, and no, then do our own thing, but we always communicate about what we think would be a good idea, and then we do the opposite. It would definitely be much harder if there wasn't two of us. Yeah, yeah. It would be so hard, because at least we have each other to say, someone says that they look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, I'll get over it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we, it's good to have someone else to turn to. If we were on our own, then you would probably you know, a lot of people have deleted their uh, YouTube channels because of the hate that you get, but obviously the love way outweighs the hate that you don't notice that, you know, you, you just <coughs> don't pay too much attention to that. And we do delete a lot of the comments so that you guys don't have to read them as well, because um, some of them are really horrible, aren't they? Uh, yeah, motivation. I've got 
two questions really. The first one, um, because there are so many YouTube like gurus out there and stuff, how what would you recommend to make yours stand out from everyone else's? Um, you can start a YouTube or I've got one. I've like I've got a few like sponsors from people and stuff, but I've still only got like well I've only had it three weeks and I've got like five thousand views, hundred subscribers, but it's like because you're That's really that's really good. Really, 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 Market like because I've got like a Facebook page, a Twitter, and a Tumblr, and it's like you're only going to the people that already follow you. How would you then break out even more? Or does it literally just happen naturally? It just happens naturally. It, it does, yes. but I think that some of some of the other other people on YouTube, um, we don't do it. Some of, some of them collaborate, um, and that's that's a good way for people to kind of find you if you collaborate with someone else on your level that has different subscribers. Then you know you can do it that way. Hi, Fixie Hello. Hello. Um, do you have any big celebrity fans that um, like your videos that you probably don't make up for? Well, celebrity fans, we... Um, <laughs> and Miriam tweeted us the other day, which we were yes. super excited about. Yes. Alicia Dixon tweeted us, was it yesterday or the day before? Um, Jessie J follows us, doesn't she? Jessie J follows us, I've done her makeup. She's really lovely. Um, yeah. Did you I say that's the extent of our celebrity with that? Celebrity fans. Oh, Courtney Love. Yeah, Courtney Love and, and the Gildoffs. Oh, yeah, the Gildoffs, yeah. And that's about it, as far as we know, that follow us. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> face, would you ever work on each other? Because I'm thinking that maybe I would want to work on someone else's face rather than my own. Um, and also, is there any specific look that you would say is the most popular? Okay. Um, we do normally work on ourselves only because that's the way it, it's been. But we are now getting to a point where we're starting to have so many requests for different eye colours and stuff like that that we are getting friends in because we like to keep it a little bit more personal. We don't want models. We don't want models, but we think that it's a bit unreal and people don't. Not everyone looks like a supermodel to be on your channel, and it can be quite. Well, I don't, that's not going to look like that on me. So um, we are getting a few more friends in. I would say. Um, Key looks, or our looks that have got the most hits would be our drag tutorial, um, which is you know, it's quite fun, um, Kim Kardashian, any kind of J-Lo, J-Lo gets Yeah, any kind of, of um, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. I would say if you are doing a look on someone else to be aware that it is very hard to film doing a look on someone else, because you almost need someone else on the camera to see that you're not standing in front of the camera, if you know what I mean, which then means that you have to work from the side and then it makes it very difficult for you to get it even in the camera. It's very difficult and that's why I tend to avoid it as much as I can. Um, it's much easier to do your own face because there's obviously nothing in front of the camera that way. Because when you do so many videos, you have to be really creative and stuff. What inspires you or where do you get your creativity from? Everything. God, magazines, fashion week, old films. Yeah, everything. We just got into watching old films actually, haven't we, with Mum? So um, yeah, everything. <coughs> it's hard. You could just be walking down the street and you'll see something and be like, "That's amazing. What's that colour? Oh my god, I need to get a lipstick that colour." You know, it was. I think as well, people will know this. If you do mess up, it's the first thing you look at of everything. If you're looking through a magazine, you're looking at the makeup, and people that do stylists that look at the clothes, but it's, my partner's always like, oh god, look, you, I bet you're looking at the makeup. I'm like, yeah, of course, because it's, you know, and you're inspired by everything like that. How do you stay ahead of your competitors, or who do you consider to be your competitors, how do you keep that edge? I don't really think about that, to be honest. I think as soon as you think like that, then it's all downhill. So that we just keep looking forward, you don't think about anyone as competition because no one is really, everyone's just doing something that they love and are fortunate enough to do it on YouTube and have people follow them. So, you know, we don't collaborate with people purely because we just don't, we don't, you know, it's not really a thing, is it? It would be funny if we, we collaborate with each other and then someone else as well. Uh, we only just fit the camera together, let alone someone else. But um, yeah, we don't really 
follow anyone. We try not to as well because also you get influenced by what other people are doing and you can be like, oh, that really works. I'm going to do that. And people will pick up on it straight away. They'll be like, you've copied that. So we don't do it. We just keep to our own thing. And so far, touch wood, it works. Thanks in editing when you were first starting out to figure out some of the videos. So what did we use for editing? Um, and how to figure out for lighting techniques because oh my God, it was a nightmare. So After a nightmare, it took us. Well, basically, only now have we got it right. Yeah, but I mean, it's been, it's it's been, been a nightmare. We, it, it's sort of a, a culmination of the right lights and the right camera. You can have right lights and not a great camera, and it's not good. You can have a great camera and not right lights, and it's not good. Um, the editing software we use is iMovie. We've always used that. It's easy and it comes with our Mac, so we haven't had to think about that. Um, we did think about going on to Final Cut Pro, but I mean, there's not much, there's not really not that much editing in it, you know, so we're not going to bother. Um, lighting, we use soft boxes that we got off eBay. They're called Photocell, P H O T O S E L. If you type that into eBay, they should come up. They, they sell them uh, in kits of two. And they're about 20 quid for the two. And we have two sets of those. We have one set like this at the front, and we have one set at the back shining on the wall. And that's how you get a white wall. Bit of us forever to figure that out. <laughs> and we, were, we were using a um, video camera, but it was making us go grey when we zoomed in and out, which you've probably seen on videos, which was driving us mental. So now we have um, a camera, but it only allows us to record 12 minutes. Before it turns itself off. And then you're like doing something else. Ah, oh, God, it's not recorded. So it drives us mad, but it's the best quality. And that camera is a Canon 600D. Thank you. Hi, I was really pleased to find out that you guys are going to do some series on people who suffer with cancer and side effects of chemotherapy. Um, I'm a doctor and I see lots of women who've had treatment and hearing loss and so forth. And it's a massive issue for them and their self esteem obviously suffers too during that time. I just wanted to know um, what inspired you to do that. Um, yeah. Um, one of my when I, I think when I was about twenty three, one of my best friends got cancer. And um, yeah, it was quite heartbreaking. And she's absolutely fine now, but we went to see her in the hospital and she lost all her hair and it was so sad. Um, and my partner's mum died of cancer and I didn't get to meet her. Sorry, I'm going to be like this in the video is what I know. Um, and it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Um, just because I think it's heartbreaking. And it could happen to any of us, it could happen to probably half of us in here may get it. So I thought when people are stuck at home and they lose their hair and they lose their brows and they lose their identity and they're suffering, there's nothing worse than Makeup always makes you feel better. When you get a new outfit, you put it on, you haven't put your makeup on, you feel like, oh, will it look okay when I've got my makeup on? So I just wanted to do something that would help people that were feeling not so great about themselves and to show them that, you know, you can draw your brows back in and they can look natural. They don't have to look like slugs on your face. You know what I mean? I wanted to make it and show that you can get wigs that, Although they may be more expensive, I think when you're going through something like that, you don't mind spending £400 on a wig that's properly handmade for you and, you know, to look like your hair. So that's really why I wanted to do it, because I just think it's such a tough subject that is kind of pushed to one side a little bit. I don't think it's ignored, but I think that it's something that really needs to be shown and we've got 400,000 subscribers, we're better than to, than to do it. I've been thinking about it for at least a year and a half ages, yeah. and I contacted uh, the big C and everything and none of them got back to me. So I've decided that I'm just going to do it and I, my friend who had cancer has two girls that um, are going through it now so I said, oh do you think they'll do it and they were more than happy to so hopefully, one of them was ill when I was meant to record it last week so hopefully in the next couple of weeks it'll be recorded help people, fingers crossed. Just thank you. Thanks for watching our videos, thanks for coming today out um, in this horrific weather. And um,